Oh my god, it's already almost September. <laughs> anyway, I've decided to film a September TBR. Because that's what I do now. I plan my books out for the whole month. So far it's been working. The first book on this list is a maybe book because I'm currently reading it and it's still August. So if I don't finish it before the end of August, then I'll be finishing it in September. I am hoping that I'm going to finish it this month, but I still do have a little more than half left to go. But anyway, the book is This is a Love Story by Jessica Thompson, and it's very cute. I'm really enjoying it so far, um, but I do have, you know, a little more than 200 pages left, so hopefully I can do that. I mean, technically, I should be able to read 200 pages in three days or however much is left in August, but anyway, just in case, I'm adding it to this video. <laughs> I also have to read volumes 2 and 3 of Paper Girls because I have to bring them back to the library by September 6th. So I'll be reading these first. If I'm not done reading This is a Love Story, I'll be reading them second. But whatever. I wasn't a huge fan of the first volume, but I figured I'd continue with the series and see if it gets better for me or if I end up liking where the story goes because they're free from the library, so why not? Now besides those books, I have three novels that I'm going to try and read in September. I do realize that is less books than what I attempted to read or talked about reading in August, but since like June, I've been reading basically kids books or like cutesy romance books. I've been reading really fluffy and easy to get through novels. And these ones are not fluffy and a little bit denser because they're fantasy books. So that's why there's only three, but I've decided to read some fantasy books because September is when the weather starts to get a little bit cozier and I've always associated fantasy books with more of a cozy time of year for some reason because they're denser and you get kind of more absorbed in them in a different way and I just love to curl up with a blanket and a hoodie and read about magic. <laughs> so the first book that I'm going to be attempting to read in September is Shadow and Bone by Leigh Bardugo. I know, I haven't read this yet. I'm working on it. I have read the Six of Crows duology and I would like to read at least the first book in this trilogy before the show comes out, which is apparently either late 2019 or early 2020. So I'd like to have at least some kind of knowledge of the two separate series because I'm really, really curious to see how they're going to combine them into a TV show. Like, are they keeping the same characters but creating a whole new story? I have no idea and I will not know unless I at least read the first book in this series. So that's what I'm going to do. The next book on this list is Sorcery of Thorns by Margaret Rogerson. I don't remember what it's about. I actually don't think I read the entire synopsis when I bought this. I saw the cover and I was like, yes, please. And then I opened the front cover and I started reading the inside flap and I didn't get very far. And I was just like, yep, I want this. So I, I don't know. There's magical beings and stuff involved. And, uh, it has a very pretty cover, so this one. <laughs> and the last book that I'm going to try to read in September is A Book of Spirit and Thieves by Morgan Rhodes. I don't know what this is about either. I just know that our world exists and a fantasy world exists. And in our world, it takes place in Toronto. That's why I bought it. So I hope it's not the only redeeming quality of this book. I'm sure it's not. I'm sure it's good. I hope it's good. But I own the first two. So I should probably read at least one of them. So this is the third book that I'm going to attempt to read in September. And that is all for now. Have a good day, guys. Bye.